Hello beautiful beings of Beam Tribe. Nick here in Ottawa and in this tools video we're going to talk about releasing or resetting our gut tissues. Right, the abdominal tissues, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, Kelly Streck calls this the gut smash, but I think smash is a pretty intense word. So the goal is to kind of reset and unstick a lot of these tissues here, which can get very, very gunky. Right, especially if we sit a lot during the day, we're not really using the full excursion of those tissues, right? The obliques, the diaphragm, even deeper in there in the pelvis, you've got the hip flexors which tie into the lumbar spine. So there's a lot of stuff there that doesn't get a lot of love and is very important for things that are fundamental like breathing, for example. Um, after chatting with Brian McKenzie, I kind of did his CO2 tolerance test and realized that my mechanical ventilation, my ability to expand my chest cavity and use all these tissues, what, had gotten really restricted because I hadn't been doing any work on it for a while. So my way of doing this, uh, one of my favorite ways of doing this is with the kettlebell. But, um, and so I'm gonna lie down on my back and show you kind of how I work through this. Um, but you can also do it by lying on top of something like a basketball or a softball. So there's different ways of doing it. And if there's some conversations that come out of this video um, from tribe members, we can always record a video with different tools or show different ways of doing this. But the goal here is to unstick everything. It's a really powerful down regulation um, tool. If you want to do this, you know, a little bit before bed, it gets you breathing calmly and allowing, basically the goal is to allow this kettlebell to sink into my tissues and it'll feel a little bit weird because there's certain points where the kettlebell kind of like digs through or essentially releases a tissue and will kind of sink into your abdomen a little bit more. Now there's nothing sketchy or dangerous to kind of compress here, okay? But like anything, you gotta go by feel, okay? So I'll show you what this looks like. Now, if you wanna go real hardcore, you can flip the kettlebell over onto the handle side, but um, this guy is a 35 pounder. I like to start right under my ribs, okay? And I'll basically work into like a big circle, okay? So I'll go right under my ribs so it's not resting on my rib cage, just under it. And all I'm gonna do is breathe in, and as I exhale, I just want to let that kettlebell sink in and just kind of, sometimes I'll whirl it around a little bit, but I'll take a few breaths there. Okay, and then once you're done in that spot, move a little bit to the outside. So you're kind of tracing, essentially, you know, I like to go, I like to go at that for, you know, three or four minutes, um, but I'm kind of tracing, I'll start at the top, just under my rib cage, work my way around, come down here, and then come back up on the other side. And like I said, the goal is just to unstick all these different layers of tissue. You know, you got skin, fascia, obliques, deeper abdominals, rectus abdominis, diaphragm. There's so many different layers. If everything's getting stuck together, your ability to expand and contract, take a nice deep abdominal breath, which is how we're supposed to be breathing, can really be inhibited. So give that a go. Ask us questions if you've got any. That is the abdomen reset using a kettlebell. You can use anything that you have available. Um, be creative. Like I said, you can always lay on top of something, right? Uh, the handle will be a little bit more intense but I could always lay on top of that, create a little bit of kind of a perch, breathe in, and then exhale. And sink into it, okay? So be gentle to yourself, don't go too intense. That's a very powerful way to reset those tissues. Those tissues are very important. We don't talk about them a whole lot. Um, I hope that helps, catch you in the next video.